Welcome, I'm Wes, and we are getting ready to talk a little bit more about this painting that we did. Hopefully you've seen the time lapse of that painting. If not, check it out. There'll probably be a link at the end of this video, and you can go straight there and, and see this happen in a time lapse, which we all know what those are. But right now, we're still talking about the process and prep work. Last video, we talked about gritting the canvas, and we lubed it up. By lubing it up, I mean we put some linseed oil on the background areas to help move the paint across the canvas because we are not using any thinners. That's part of the process, and I may have talked about that in another previous video. We are trying to remove thinners and harmful things out of the process and really strip this down to bare essentials. So we put a little bit of linseed oil on the canvas, on the brushes, and when I say we put a little bit, I mean it's a little bit. A little bit of linseed goes a long way. It doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, when we did this background here, we just kind of coated this area and then put some black on there and it's kind of a little bit like a wash. It makes it a little transparent, makes it a little shiny. It helps us not use as much paint and it helps the paint flow, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Flowing paint on lubed up canvases, it's all good. It's all fun. I'm trying not to ramble and get straight to the stuff because we really want to see what kind of paint we use. It is a basic palette of limited colors. And when I say basic, I mean primary colors. Red, blue, yellow, black with a little bit of burnt sienna and I have two types of black and two types of white, and we'll talk about that. A titanium white, zinc white, and then a Mars black and an ivory black. Both those have different properties. Make mixing colors better, because that's what we do. I like to mix the colors. It's part of the process. I enjoy it. We don't have to buy a million tubes of paint, a million colors, and keep them all on hand. We just have the basics, and then we mix from there. And we can make, when I make these, they are basically just middle points that I can go lighter, darker, cooler, warmer, depending on what I need to do. I don't want to make each individual shade and step for, for every color. That's too much time. We mix on the canvas. We mix when we're painting here. We mix on the, on the palette. So we're just kind of pulling things, mixing things. It's all just a nice mess, but it works for me. You know, what works for you may be something different. You may want to add a few more colors because you don't have the experience in mixing paints from basic colors. You know, it is part of the process. It is fun. I enjoy it. It's going to be fun. No, seriously, it's 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 good. Uh, I've rambled way too long already. We want to jump right in. We want to get to this. Let's just let's just go ahead and get to the to the palette. Let's do it. Let's go. My background. Well, I want her to pop off that. So I'm probably going to put a dark background in there might just go straight black. The ivory black, which we talked about being the cooler black, will have her as warm against cool. And I do that sometimes. I've got this exact same painting, which will we might flash up on the screen, done in just cool and warm tones. But what I'm going to do now is just sort of come in and you see how that slides right on the canvas and we're not really like I said trying to create anything other than start in the back and work our way to the front and don't be afraid to get get that paint in areas I keep looking back at that light because I can smell hot lights I want to make sure that we're not on fire I forgot what I was talking about because I thought the studio was burning down all right so now many of you think well now he's going to work on the hair no I'm going to the face next because when we talk about layers we've got background face hair so that's the way we're working today so right now we've got to make some flesh tones and this is good because this is kind of the, some of the stuff that i want to talk about is what we're working with here this is all the paint we're working with today we're going to make all our colors for this painting from this little uh limited palette here so i have uh my favorite little mixing palette knife here and I'll, I'll hold it down here so we can see is just basically just a sliver of a, a palette knife. it's just good to mix paint with so like I said you know and I like that this is basically a microwave lazy Susan is that what you call these turntable out of a microwave on a work stool that rotates bar stool uh, and I've just put a black piece of non-slip stuff uh, uh, underneath so that my color I can see my colors more information than you need about my, my palette. But anyway, some of you might be interested. And if you're not, sorry. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this pile of the uh, zinc white, which we talked about is less opaque, and I use it more for mixing. We're going to look at her flesh tone 
over here, uh, which are very warm. Some reddish hues, some pale spots where the, the highlights are, and then she has some, some freckles too. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at that. We can zoom in. This is what I like about using the iPad because uh, I can go one-to-one -one, because my brain automatically goes one-to-one -to -one when I'm doing the, the detail work. Uh, but back out for when I'm, you know, really just covering areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a very little bit of the red. And again, that's a, that's a Carmen is what it's called uh, from Lucas Studios. And then we just have a cyan blue and a, this is cad yellow. And so I'm going to close that drawer back. I had to go look and see what, what flavor yellow I had. So I've got just the tiniest bit of red because... Uh, that red really strong and we'll just you'll have a mess. All right, so now I'm going to come over here and we'll grab a little bit of the yellow. Then what we're going to do is grab a little bit of the blue. Uh, yeah, that's getting to about where I want that. Okay, so now we've got a good middle tone here. What I want to do is be able to from this base middle tone, and you know what? Nothing's ever finished. If it's if it's hanging on the walls in my house and it's and it's a painting, it's never finished until it leaves, and I can't paint it anymore. I'm going to constantly tweak and mix this this flesh tone here. Again, you know, I did remember one man production, so sometimes I got to go wake up a camera that fell asleep. All right, so we were making these tones here. I'm gonna save this zinc pile here. And then I'm gonna go grab some of our red. I wanna get, and I'm going into the Mars black, which is the warm black, and that's, that's a good chunk of Mars black for that. It's easier to mix in little steps. You can't take the paint back out. Once you put, once you, once you put it in the pile, we're getting a little blue there because we're, we're, we're making some shadow areas here. We that was way too much. I will probably... Okay, now now we're starting to get to a better happy place. When we're talking about where we are, right now we are looking for a shadow color. And we want it to definitely be more than... Uh, if we look at these three steps... I'm going to go into the uh, ivory black, which is a stronger black, because right now I keep going to that Mars black and it's taken forever to build it to where I want to be. When we look at that area, that's pretty close. It did help. Uh, so I'm going to grab a, another teeny tiny corner bit more there, put it in there. You may ask yourself at this point, why is he mixing the paints like this instead of having several colors of paint that you can just pull from and, you know, it's, it makes things a lot easier. It does make things a lot easier, but I only have to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors of paint. Again, it, it's, it's part of it. You know, it's just part of the process. I know we haven't, we haven't got to any of this painting yet. This part of mixing my paints is just as satisfying to me as the painting. You know, knowing that I've taken this limited palette here, created everything that I need from that, and I have so much more control over it too. I, think, I still think it needs to be just a tad darker. I'm afraid to go too much darker. I can always add, but I've got some nice middle spots here that I don't want it to be too dark. What I am gonna do is make a fourth pile over here with some of the brown. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna grab that brown. We might need more of this than I've than I'm making here. So I'm going to take just the tiniest corner piece of uh, the titanium white because it's so strong. Doesn't give me more paint. Ooh, see what I mean? See how see how that titanium white just ate that up. Okay, now I'm gonna go steal from over here. Put some color back into that. This is this kind of really warm gray section here. Again, these are these are middle point. This is not 
supposed to be every color. We will pull from all our colors based on what we need, whether we need to tone it down, to brighten it up, to pull it in the foreground to push it back. These are the things we do with the rest of these colors. And that's why we have the ivory black and the Mars black. They're two different types of black. And you see we've got our uh, one of the highlight tones here, a middle tone, one of our shadow tones, and then we've got the kind of a, a shadowy and freckle tone there. Not all freckles are that color. Not all shadows are this color. So this is why I'm saying we're going to be pulling as we need. So we don't need to make a big pile of paint. We don't need to make a whole bunch of stuff. We are actually going to get started painting. But wait, this video is long enough. So let's just stop it here. And then we will get to that in the next video. But I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for sticking with this. We're like I said, it's a journey. We're doing it together. It's good times. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're getting something out of this. If you are, let me know or let me know things that you want to understand about the way I do things because, you know, I, I, I know it's not easy to understand what I do in general. So up next, we're going to see this painting. Some of these sections happen in real time instead of the time lapse. As I go through the, the footage and see what we've got, you know, we will, we will get those rolled out as well. I'm trying to get these rolled out weekly. Well, there's another painting that, that has already been finished that is in the editing phase as well. Another portrait's coming your way and maybe a landscape in the near future. We like landscapes. They're easy. They're, they go a lot quicker than these guys. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and also Check me out on Instagram at Wes Flannery where you can see some cool stuff in the works or just check out some of the some of the older stuff that I've done. For now, I think we're done.